Hey guys, how's it going? Phil here from PRC Taping. Today I'm going to be showing you a technique that I use on my butt joints when I'm not using butt board and I have to coat them wider. So what I use is I use a 10 inch fat boy box for my first coat on all my flats and butts. And uh, on the flats I run it on two or three depending on the joint. And for butts I run it open on each side of the tape. And I'll show you a technique that I use. And this works really great if you have two people because one person can run the box and the other person can start coating behind you, but this works really well for a really flat butt, as you can see this one, I've already done it. I basically tagged, I call it tagging each side of the joint, and then you coat the middle right away while it's still damp, so that you're not cutting into the mud. So here we go, I'll show you on this joint above me. So again, I'm gonna run it open. So each side of the tape, when you get close, to, you're, I'm gonna start on this side, and when you get close to the flat joint, I'm gonna hold the brake and pull it off so I'm not tearing into the uh, flat joint over there. So right along the side. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Now that's done, I'm gonna switch the angle and show you my coating now. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna fill the middle by hand and then I'm gonna tie in the sides, not cutting into the flat joints that are already setting up. So like I said, I'm gonna run my mud right down the middle with my 10 inch knife and then I'm going to fill the edges and then float it all out. And as I'm going, I'll kind of explain what I'm doing, but this is actually the worst butt joint in the house, so it's kind of perfect. And if you put your knife over top of this and just set it right on the tape, there shouldn't be any movement. You should see that it'll cut into the mud on each side, which is good. That means all you need to do is fill the middle and flare the edges. So here we go. So I'm going to just take a good amount right down the middle. I'm gonna leave that and now I'm gonna coat, I'm gonna put a little bit of mud on each side of the tape now. So again, I like to go like this, pull the mud, and I'm put a little bit on the edge. Same on the other side. And what that does is that ties it in and it covers the joint that's pushing it back out. So what I'm gonna do now is run it right down the middle. I might do it a couple times depending on if I have a chunk in my mud. And then I'm gonna flare the edges and I'm gonna keep going. So I like to do two passes just to get it perfect. Now that's flat, you wanna maybe just see the tape a little bit, you're gonna give it another coat. I'm gonna show you now the flaring on the edges, so I'm gonna just start on this side. And you don't wanna take too much off here. If you take too much off, you're basically not filling the butt joint correctly. So I'm gonna take a little bit off the edge, and then do a float. I'm just floating my knife now. Okay, same thing on this side. And then I'm going to float it again. I have a little chunk here from the pail. And then, now that's done, that's perfectly flat. I'm not going to put my knife over because I'm going to cut into my work. Very minimal sanding, it's just a tiny, tiny line that's just going to buff out quick. You can even just scrape it and coat it on your next one. Now I'm just going to flare this. You can see that this is a little bit ugly. I'm just going to pull my knife, flare it back. That's it. Same with this side. And we are done. That's a perfectly flat butt joint, ready for a second coat. Now on the second coat, you can either run your 12 inch box on each side, or you can just coat it by hand, and that's probably what I'll do because these butts are a little bit inconsistent on this floor, so that's what I'll do. I hope this technique helps. Um, I know a lot of you guys do it this way. This is my method when I'm not using Trimtex butt board, so have a good one guys, cheers.